will obey. Evils be gone. Universe in my psyche. One with the sound. For more. For more. Be gone. 
universe and my psyche. For more. Oneness. Leave it to me. <laughs> Imitation. Life is in everything.
A contented mind is a perpetual feast. well-deserved reward. What's it going to be this time? Self-awareness leads to wisdom.
come forth. One with the sound. Down with the curtain! Blue! Imitation! Blow for me! Universe in my psyche. One with the sound. Discovery. Decades have passed, but those researchers' presence still lingers in this place. Thank you. 
The Sentinel situation is worse than we thought. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So, the Sentinel protected Hongzhen with its power, but it couldn't return things back to normal? It would seem so. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time, and if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. <sighs> so the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. No. A Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range, it's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more Flare Stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. more. Gonna be this time.
another Kronos order. The second flare stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this Kronos order. There is still another photon vault to break. We can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. Look at that device on the floating slab. It could help us open the path to other places. Shall we give it a try? Hmm. So it turned you into a Kleinbang. Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. Another Kronos order. Let's give it a try.
The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the Tacitite Fulminate across the water. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. Chi lasts evermore. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. One last flare stone to go. There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath us. We should be able to find Jinshi soon. Cherish every game.
Is that so? So this file confirms that the Kronos Orders are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. And this also answers my previous question. The Kronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Kronos Orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range, or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful, the Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a second resonance awakening. Yes, that fight has to happen to trigger a second resonance awakening for Jinshi, so she may exert even stronger resonance abilities Ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Countless Kronos Orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Kronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Kronos Orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. No, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Kronos Orders required manual control, while the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Kronos Order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel and the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Kronos Order thanks to that order. Rover, do you have an idea? Jinchi.
Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt her. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li... You're... Shh. I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have her here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need her help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But... we already owe Rover a lot. As we headed toward Mount Firmament, Rover mentioned a strange dream she had. It may have been a flashback of her lost memories. Rover, Jue, and Mount Firmament. There must be some kind of crucial connection between the three. Rover also has her own reasons for being here. I see. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinzhou. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Chenshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, Nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today, it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow, it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. 
You don't want to end up like those Chronosorters, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li. I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. She's also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. Look, our last target, on those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them.
it's not working. We may need to follow a specific order. It worked. The court of Savante set many traps here. They must have worked hard to protect Mianlong Chamber. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me, and it's very much my companion now. I'm done with all three flare stones. Good. Let's head back to the entrance. We should be able to access the cipher key now. What's it going to be this time?
cipher key. Rover, take good care of the cipher key. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. Please don't forget, I am your wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinji. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. Yes, they've been constantly watching you, interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself... I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Oh, speak of the devils. not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Those artificers are nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Chang Li has her plans. I don't believe we will run into more ambushes on the way.
An unexpected discovery. None shall whisper. Psyche. Thank <laughs> you. 
ですが